God, this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. You see the title. The title is The Elite Set These Fires to Prepare for Martial Law and the Antichrist. Thus said the Lord, all these fires in Australia and in California, everywhere. Let me tell you why they're burning it up. Because here's the deal. They burn it up so they could so so they'll know where everybody is at. Or oh, they know exactly what they're doing and how they're doing it. Nothing just happened, said the Lord. They are preparing, they are setting the stage for new world order and martial law. And they're really preparing the stage for the Antichrist because he has to come on the scene. This stuff is getting ready to go down like never before. 2020, thus said the Lord, is the year of the Reaper. Y'all know what Reaper means? Death. Y'all understand this? Thus said the Lord, right? Uh, every city, every state, even down here. They're working on the road for what? what you, hey, the road is okay. What you need to work on, you ain't working on. Every city and every state, the reason why y'all seeing all this construction is because they're going to have checkpoints. Because this is, I'm telling you, when New World Martial Law come, they're going to make sure, they're going to try to put that chip in every last one of us. And my prayer is for all of you that are saved, or say you saved, you're about to find out, huh? Because also, they're preparing these FEMA camps. A lot of places are just closing up in your cities and your town. Even here, I found out that they had closed up. Even when I was in Augusta. Let me tell y'all how real it is. I said this before, but I'm going to reiterate it for a reason. So I was going to the Kroger um, off of Wrightsboro Road in Augusta, Georgia. I love that Kroger. And let me tell you something. Everybody else did too because it stayed packed and it stayed full. All of a sudden, one day, store closed. And I say, that don't make no sense. I mean, it's making money. Like, buku money, right? And so... And when it was closing, I never forget, God told me, he said, I want you to go in there. And I was like, God, I don't want to go in there. It's still closing. They ain't got nothing, right? So what he did is he made me He made me walk around the whole store. And you guys, I'm so serious. I'm not exaggerating. I started shaking and crying. I said, this is a future FEMA camp. I don't want, I don't want to get emotional on y'all. I never forget that day, y'all. And when I got back in the car, I had to call somebody because I was so shaking. I said, God. I said, let me tell you what God showed me. Y'all, this is real. It's like I could see them killing people up in there and, and just Christians. See, they ain't worried about nobody else, just Christians. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all, this stuff is coming. And let's, let me be so transparent. I thought I'd be gone by now. I ain't gonna lie. I was like, God, please take me out of here. I ain't trying to. That's not reality for me. I'm a forerunner. I'm supposed to tell y'all what's to come. Why y'all think they do what they do to me? You don't act like y'all don't know. I've been telling y'all. I've been under surveillance. I tell y'all everything. That's why I just can't be with anybody. He gonna have to understand. I guess they gonna as soon as martial law. I'm one of the first ones they come, and I've already told my family, my daughter, everybody. They ain't gotta believe me now, but they will. And I'm ready, y'all. <laughs> ain't nothing they could do to me that hasn't already been done. It's like the reason I lived that crazy life is he was preparing me for this life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I used to wonder why I was so crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Why I went through and did what I did. Now I know. Now I know. Because what I did ain't nothing compared to what's gonna happen. Hallelujah. Y'all aren't ready for me. And people don't want you to talk like this. Oh, that's it's scary. Yeah, it's scary. But it's real. Jesus Christ went through the same thing. All we did was come back in time. We're living in Jesus' days. The only thing is you got cars now and cell phones and computers where they and, and, and from what I hear. I was talking to my cousin today. They got cameras on every corner now. Didn't I tell y'all all this? Because guess what? Let me tell you something. The enemy is trying to be like God. God is omnipresent. He know everything. So the enemy, he uses technology. You know, when back in the 80s when I was going to engineering school, one thing I, I went long enough to understand that digital and analog is different. They had to change it to digital. Analog can't be traced, but digital can. They record everything and hold on. It don't matter if you love God or not. They recording everybody and everything. Why y'all think some of them um, stores, y'all talking about, they, they, they don't kill themselves. These people know how to make it look like a suicide. These people got so much stuff. They so evil. It's not even funny. And so that's why I do these videos to warn you. Get closer to God because you're going to need him. And hold on. When this stuff really take off the way it's supposed to, we ain't going to be able to get on here and say, hey, it's, get, it's coming. It's happening. Because they're going to shut that down. It's coming to, do y'all remember Love Behind? The movie left behind. Remember when they had it just to where their feed? That's the we're not gonna have any of this. All of all of this. That's why they and, and hold on. You don't even know why they made social media. <laughs> Unbeknownst, we gave them everything they needed. 
They have facial recognition. They have our family faces. Y'all don't understand. Huh? We give them everything. Where we go, what we do, what we like. Especially the selfie, huh? Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. We did it. Not knowing, you know, because we thought it was just evolving. Well, yeah, they're evolving, all right. <laughs> um, to be honest with you, slavery all over again. This is a pharaoh system. Pharaoh is here. Pharaoh is here. But I'm going to tell you, Pharaoh going to do is that, oh, yes. They was getting ready to come. I see, you know, and, and I'm going to start releasing it again. When I started, people got mad. Oh, that's the doom and gloom prophet. Uh, whatever. How do you think I feel seeing it? When it started, when I first had the first dream, I was in Sacramento, California with open vision. I was going into a store and the martial law and everything started. People, they couldn't take it. They started killing themselves. And it was all kind of mayhem. It was just like in a movie because they show you in the movie what they're going to do. They show it. They've been showing us. Make y'all laugh. Well, it's really not funny. Y'all remember that movie Taken? I think it was in 2008. Taken? Right. I liked it too. Well, I looked at it the other night and I was like, God, because I don't really look at TV like that. I'm not trying to do all that. I don't want nothing coming in my spirit. Besides, it's just for witches and warlocks now. Y'all don't see all the deep. Look at all the titles. Evil, this and that. I mean, they letting you know what time it is. But I was looking at Taken and God said, you don't remember this. He said, when this movie came out, they were showing you that they were going to start stealing people. Y'all ain't ready for me, but we was, we was like, oh, he, yeah, yeah, I'll find you. That's in a movie. And you know who behind it? The elite. Stealing our kids, our children. Black women for their wounds now, for transgenders. Oh, come on, somebody. You're not going to like me because I'm going to tell the truth up in here. No one's safe. But by God, but through God. Even the stars are starting to get scared. Y'all think it's a game? They just don't know what to convert to. And y'all sitting up there talking about, oh, they can be saved. If God says that what is it to gain the world and lose your soul, that's scripture. So y'all believe scripture, right? So if you believe scripture, what you talking about they can't lose their soul? What you talking about? God, God is real with everything. You have free will. <laughs> Do I think it's a game? So God was telling me to tell y'all, prepare. And y'all not going to like what I'm getting ready to say, but I have to be obedient. Prepare for death, Christians. It's coming. You talk a good game. You live for Christ because he's going to ask you to die for him. Let me get, leave you with this. They've been, they've been showing us across the countries. Renounce Christ or we kill you. It's coming right here in the States. What you going to do when they come for you? Are you going to conform? I told everyone about maybe two years ago, and I'm going to tell you this again, pureflex.com. It's even on there. It's like a Netflix, but it's pureflex with Christian movies. Y'all need to look at martial law. They know. They know. They're putting it on there, even the Christian ones. And some of them conform. But let's look at that movie, Martial Law. It will trip you out. They they put it out there. They put it out there, just not vaguely. Thank you, Lord. I hear you. Another thing, stop eating out. I don't know if y'all know this. Them witches and warlocks are playing, praying all over the food. I used to eat out. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. A lot, okay? Y'all know I like to eat, whatever. For me, when somebody um, pure has um, actually made the food or whatever, I start gagging, like uncontrollably. And God says, stop eating out, Deanna. Deanna, stop eating out. And let me just be real. I went and got some ice cream the other night. I had to throw it away. I started gagging. I said, God, what is this? You know what it is? And when I look, think about the girl, she did look weird. <laughs> Just being honest. Start preparing your food at home and then pray over it still. Hallelujah. I'm telling you what God's saying. I know you don't like it, but it's real. And ain't nobody trying to, that's another thing. Stop with all that. Oh, she's trying to produce fear. No, the, de the devil is trying to produce fear. I'm telling you to let go and let God and be real in this hour like never before. Because God says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. What is knowledge? Just that knowledge. I'm telling y'all some stuff here. Hallelujah. So that's what God told me to tell y'all. I ain't for no more. I felt that release. Hallelujah. So I'm praying for y'all. Y'all pray for me. Wait a minute. Hold on. One of those that have a prayer life. Because if you got no prayer life, you're going you gonna to pray something else. And I'll be, no, no, thank you. 
Only those that have a real prayer life, a relationship with Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Because that's what you're going to need. Because all this other stuff, I'm, I'm telling y'all, thank you, Lord. Disconnect from this world, you guys. We, we don't belong here. And God is actually preparing us to come home. We don't belong here. Disconnect. What do I mean, disconnect? Some of you are so entwined in this world. You do anything for money, honey, and funny. Stop that. Stop sleeping with people that, for money. Y'all know. Stop conforming. Y'all know. Stop doing that stuff. And if you don't know how, say, God, help me. I, I didn't been doing it so long, I don't know how to stop. Because everything that you do is a spirit, whether good or bad. A lot of people say, well, no, that's not real. So hold on. Hold on. Let, let's take this back. All you intelligent people, all, all these people, because I'm going to tell you what the enemy did, and y'all are not going to like it, but I really don't care. The enemy came in the church with intelligence. Everybody started being doctored. I got it over here. I, I can't really grab it right now. That doctorate that they gave me. I don't use that on my name. Yeah, I accept it. Thank you, Jesus. God bless y'all. God put it on your heart. Okay, whatever. I'm no doctor. <laughs> I'm not a doctor. I'm a servant. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me. Got to go back to servanthood. People need us in this hour. Everybody wants to be more than they are. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And God said it would happen because he did it to Jesus. He said, if you fall down and worship me, I'll give you this world. Don't you understand that people want this world more than God now? And you'll call evil good and um, good evil? I said, that's all God told me to say. Ooh, this is real. This is real. This is real. All right, you guys. May God bless you. God keep you. I pray to see you guys come Monday night. Uh, in Atlanta, the conference, we got, ooh, I'm telling you what God say. And we will be streaming it. Well, not streaming, live. Um, Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully I'll be able to get on here before then. If not, God bless everybody. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. We're all our soldiers for that is who we are. God bless. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And for you, brothers and sisters, that are selling your sisters and brothers out for some money, because that's the new thing in China and all over. They're paying people to watch you. They, they're paying your circle to just, just watch them in stores, in your home, getting close to you. You that taking that money, God told me to tell you, you have your reward. <laughs> you don't know what that means? You got your money. Huh? You got your money, right? <laughs> that's your reward mm -hmm. that's what God say that's your reward so if you won't give up heaven for some money shame on you oh shame on you all right that's it oh yeah we being monitored Miss Jackie they monitor me that's why sometimes <laughs> I can tell y'all what I do y'all think I'm crazy I'm serious I know I, I you know we all know we may not like it that's why you get closer to God. Because when you get close to God, when you really get close to God, you can stand before anybody. Hallelujah. And, and yeah, fear try to come on you. But here, God says, I'm not giving you the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. You got to get closer to God. When you get closer to God, he'll anoint you more to go through it. Because if Jesus did it, we could do it too. Hallelujah. When you ain't got no strength, no power, that's because you ain't spent time with God. That's why I'm saying this world trying to get us, get us, work more, make more money. Yeah, yeah, that's working out real well, huh? Look at these kids. Y'all give them everything, they still trying to kill people. We did too much. We did too much. You know, I remember back in the 60s, 70s, we didn't have a lot. We had love, we had honor, we had respect. Oh, Y'all ain't ready for me. Anyway, God bless you, God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers, for that is who we are. God bless. And let me say it the way I'm supposed to say it. This is General Deanna Dixon. So you know you're part of the army, right? Boot up soldiers because it's hot out here. And you better be suited up for real. They're not playing. And neither should we. All right, God bless.